Hello again. In this tutorial, I will show you the intent types in Android. So intents are actions in Android. There are two types of intents, explicit intents and implicit, implicit intents. So uh, just for uh, remembering you that these lessons are produced by Android, Master Android app, and they are found in Master Android app Pro and uh, available on Play Store. So go, so go to Play Store and download Master Android Pro app. Now back to intents. Here is a simple example showing the two types of intents. We see in previous uh, videos how intent, uh, uh, intent works. Now, what are these types? We will discover the, them in this tutorial. Now, uh, we need uh, uh, types of intent, open camera and download MP3 by tapping on the one, uh, one button and an action intent will be performed. So, this app has two uh, bu buttons open camera and download mp3 explicit intents what are explicit intents it means you know who will be handled your action in this case download mp3 file so you specify the intent in your app implicit intents it means that you don't know who will handle your who will be handled your action in your app so because it, it belongs to outside of your app in the above example, another app, camera app, receives your action and performs accordingly. So open activity, open camera will, will uh, make an implicit instance because we know who will open the camera, what you are, uh, we know what you are doing. So open camera, it will go and open the camera an action which is handled by another app different app because it, a camera will open the camera which is also an app found in android system so it is going to implicit instance i'm going to another app explicit instance download mp3 in same app you may start a new activity within your app in response to your to the user action implicit intents you will stay in you will go to different app explicit intents we will you will go to uh, the same you will be still in the same app now implicit intents this type does not specify the component in such cases intent provides information and available components provided by the system is used to be is to be invoked for example you might return the following to view the web page. So, if I want to uh, view an, a, a web page, I will call an intent, intent, new intent action, view intent.set data URI and go to Google. Start activity, intent. This is the form of implicit intents. We will uh, see in our app how to, to make it. Explicit intents that we've learned how to create it. So in previous video, we created an explicit instance that specified the component and we keep the user in our app. So in this form, we create the intent of explicit, uh, of explicit type. As a summary, intent has implicit and explicit Intents, uh, implicit uh, dial, uh, call, map, location, open web page, and explicit intents, start activity, receivers, services, and broadcast. Back to Android uh, system. So uh, we will uh, back to Android st Studio. We are going to create an uh, explicit and implicit intents. So we go to uh, let's go to our our layout layout go to uh, and 
put here a button that it is uh, 32 dp and I will rename or uh, put the text inside it go to Google okay or uh, or uh, let's or download master Android Pro okay so back to the activity we can specify a button here button number two and I will initialize it button number two is equal to find view by idr dot id dot button number two okay so now let's call button number two dot set on click listener new view on click listener and i need we need to put the uh or uh, open the web page intent intent i2 let's call i2 do a new intent and uh, as we learned here before new intent dot here we need to put intent dot action view so back to intent dot action view okay now intent dot set data intent dot i2 dot set data and here we need to specify the URI. We will learn later on how to create an URI and what are the URIs. Now, URI dot k URI dot parse what's happening here set data and uri dot parse and here we need to import a package and go to our put here your link Start activity and we put the intent. You see here we intent we created we we put set data and we start the intent. So I two. Now we, uh, we I'm going to create the link that the user uh, or the app will uh, will see it. I will go to uh, uh, search to Google Android master or master master Android app. Okay, just uh, making and searching for master Android app. You can see the watch the videos, and this is. sorry this is our app this is our app called master android java and flutter and you can see the trailer video and 
see the reviews. It's 4.6 from 20,030 and it's above 500,000 downloads. I will copy and you can buy the the pro pro version master android pro which is available also and it's one dollar it's just one dollar we copy link and we insert it here now let's run and see what's happening now download master android okay the system android system uh, knows what we we need we need a web page so it is opening a, a chrome it's opening chrome so and we also we can open it in play store this this uh, button will also make an intent that uh, displays or that uh, call play store to open so till now we have implicit intents and explicit intents this will will uh, take you to the same app you will still in the same app and this will uh, go to another app which is google chrome or internet explorer thank you guys i hope you benefit from our lectures and our course please rate us five stars those don't miss to like and subscribe to our channel master android android master uh, app and that uh, check our app master android pro thank you guys see you next videos next videos